Hello again. So, still looking at exponent laws, and this time we're going to look at the meaning of a negative exponent. We already kind of used it in a previous video, but what does a negative exponent mean? If I have something like x to the negative 2, what does that mean? Well, a negative exponent can actually be rewritten by inverting our expression or flipping it and then making an exponent positive. These are equivalent. These mean the same thing. In fact, if you checked in your calculator and did a quick numbers, if you did something like, I don't know, 2 to the negative 2, you punch that in your calculator, and then you compare it to this, oops, not 2 to the 4, 2 to the 2. Remember, you flip the exponent and keep it the same. I was jumping the gun because this is the same as saying 1 over 4. So you punch that in your calculator, you should get it equal to 0.25. So hopefully try that out if you don't believe me. But what if I had instead, say, switch colors like I like to, what if I had 1 over x to the minus 3 or something like that? Well, it's still flipping it, except this time we flip it to the top. So this would be the same as saying x over 3 to the 1 if we want, but that's the same as saying x to the 3. So it really doesn't matter what the number is, it's just you flip it and then make it positive. So let's look at one other case. What if I had something like a fraction? Even something like 3 over 4. Doesn't just have to be number or variables. In this case, we use some numbers. And this was to the power of negative 2. This is the same exact rule. You flip it. But there's two things flipped. So what this actually becomes is 4 over 3 squared. And it's worth noting, while we're at it, we're looking at another rule. If you have it outside the brackets, this can come inside. This would be the same as saying 4 squared over 3 squared, or 16 over 9 if we really wanted to finish it off. And let's look at some complicated cases. Back over here. Let's say I had something like x to the negative 2, um, a to the negative 3, b to the 4, y to the negative 6, and let's go um, t, one, there's another variable for me, t curly t to the 3. Well again, if you want to make the exponents positive, you don't necessarily have to, but sometimes you might be asked, make this all positive exponents. Some of them already are, so we leave those alone, but the negatives get flipped. So this would be the same as saying y to the 6, b to the 4, Again, remember b was already positive, so we leave it alone. x squared, a3, and t3. t's a lot better written this time, but we flip the things that need to be flipped. Negatives get flipped, the exponents become positive, that's it. And next time we're going to look at how to solve things when it's dividing. If these were the same bases, how we divide these out, what rule we have to follow. So I will see you in the next video.